I am pleased to announce that that stupid BT Sport advert that won't go away is over. Let's get into this video. Hello and welcome to some football transfers. It is of course the summer. It was absolutely bloody roasting yesterday, which was just crazy. It was like 25 degrees in England. Don't know what's going on, but that spells summer and summer means football transfer season, which is absolutely awesome. So today, we're going to be taking a look at some deals that have already gone through. They can't actually play for the clubs, even though there's no games anyway, until the July the 1st. That is the earliest time. That is when the transfer window opens and they can all officially be ratified. So in theory, if EA get their arse into gear, on July 1st, we could actually get some new transfers coming into Ultimate Team. There is loads of them that have been going through though, so I thought we would take a look at some of them now. Like I said, there is tons of them, so I can't fit all of them in, so comment down below your favourite transfer, whether it's in this squad or I have missed it. Let me know which transfer you think is going to be the best one so far, either for your club or just in general who you think is the best signing that has been made this summer so far. And we're going to jump into this video. If you want to get any coins to buy any of the team of the seasons that are out at the moment because they are ridiculous and there is a new one coming out tonight, there's a link down in the description to IG Sky. AJ3 gets you 8% off and the coins are crazy cheap anyway. It's like £10 per million and then you get the discounts as well, which is metal. So go and check them out. Their link is down in the description. And let's get in and take a look at our first summer sign and where it is, of course, going to be a Liverpool one because Brendan Rodgers... Kind of the opposite to Roberto Martinez, the two Liverpool-based clubs are just off the red. Martinez and Everton barely ever sign anyone. And Brendan Rodgers just signs people just for the sake of signing them. So up first, they have gone and signed Jack54HD. Or to give him his proper name, Adam Bogdan, of course. Coming over to Liverpool, I'm not really sure why. He was pivotal in Bolton, finishing 18th in the Championship last season. So he's pretty high calibre goalkeeper. But... Rodgers has gone and signed him anyway. I'm not really sure what he's doing. He literally, like I said, just loves to sign players. And to be fair, he's got him on a free. He only scored two goals less last season than Ricky Lambert did. So for a free signing, it's probably not too bad at all. But let's move on to our defence. Up first, Leicester have gone and got themselves some fucks. So Leicester do give fucks and they've gone and bought one. His name, of course, is Fox. He used to play for Schalke. And now he plays for Leicester. And he doesn't look like too bad of a signing. Leicester, of course aren't the most amazing team in the Prem, and I am just basing this off his FIFA rating, but he looks like an okay player, and everyone's been talking about him and saying he actually looks like a pretty decent signing for Leicester, so that's pretty good for them, and then he's going to improve them and hopefully make them maintain their position in the Premiership. They had a ridiculously good end of the season to save themselves from relegation. And hopefully, they can cement their place in the Premier League next season. In centre-back next one, then, we have got a CDM. We could have put an actual centre-back in Papadopoulos, or I don't even know. He's moved from one Bundesliga club to another. I think he was on loan there last season as well, so it doesn't really matter. So instead, we've gone for Sami Khedira, who was moved on a free from Real Madrid to Juventus. How insane is their midfield going to be next year? PLO, although apparently he's looking to move to a different club like in... Qatar or maybe even in the MLS or something like that. Pogba, Kadira, Marquisio, Vidal. Oh my God, they are going to be absolutely mental. And they've got him on a free, which is crazy because I thought he was at least about 42, but he's only 26 or 27, which is just mad. So Sami Kadira on a free is a very, very good signing for Juventus. They've certainly done some good transfer business there. Next one then, as Kadira goes out of Real Madrid, we've got someone coming in. We have got Danilio, who... Madrid have already got a pretty decent right back in Carvajal. He's a very good player, but they've gone and signed another one anyway. I would be more likely to see this guy going to Barcelona. But then I'm pretty sure Dani Alves has just signed a new deal as well. So maybe Dani Alves isn't on the way out of Barcelona and they aren't going to be looking for a new right back. But Madrid have just got a new right back. Does that mean they're going to be selling Carvajal? I'm not too sure. I think this is just rumours, but I'm pretty sure he was like touted to go to Manchester United. But then every player in the world is linked with Man United in some other shitty newspaper. So probably a load of bullshit. But Real Madrid have signed Danilo anyway. And he's going to make a decent BBVA alternate right back for this season. Although he gets the same links as Danny Alves. You're probably not going to use him. But he's still decent and he looks like a good player. And going to make a decent BBVA right back when he comes into packs in hopefully July 1st and if not definitely in FIFA 16. Centre midfield then we've actually gone and got an Everton sign and who would have thought we'd have signed a player already? We usually wait until the last day of the season, sell everyone and just bring a couple of players in but no, Martinez is on it this season and we've gone and signed Tom Cleverley. Yeah. Tom Cleverley. I take the piss, but he was actually quite good for Aston Villa at the end of last season. Sir Alex Ferguson has always maintained that he's a good player. Martinez has worked with him before, so you've got to trust him. 
Hopefully he's going to actually come good. Again, he's not too old. We got him on a free. You can't complain too much about him. And hopefully he's actually going to just put all of the terrible form and not play in and being played CDM when he's actually having an attacking midfielder and all that bad stuff behind him and just turn into a good player. Get some confidence, get a run in the team and hopefully actually do a good job for us. And for the free, again, you can't really complain. Next up, we have got a very good sign and for Borussia Dortmund. They have gone and signed Castro, who must have had an absolute blinder of a season. I'm saying this because I don't watch the Bundesliga at all, but he got a team of the season card and he is absolutely stupidly good. His normal card on FIFA is just insane anyway. That team of the season one is just ridiculous. Dortmund have gone and signed him, so it doesn't make too much difference to your squads, but I'm sure it's going to make a big difference to Dortmund next season because that's a bit of a howler this season, didn't he? So hopefully this guy is going to shore up their team and he is a very, very good player, both in real life as I am pretty sure because he just got a team of the season and on FIFA because I've used him and he's fucking insane. So go and stick him in your squads if you do want to and Dortmund are going to be sticking him in theirs next season. Left midfield, we have got Memphis Depay, just of course signed for Manchester United. Oh my God, their attacking lineup is just getting stupider and stupider as their defence gets shitter and shitter. So they do need to sign some defenders, Louis. Stop just thinking you can play John O'Shea. Phil Jones, Valencia and Ashley Young at the back. I just get by because you've got millions of ridiculous forwards scoring loads of goals. And then just put Di Marie on the bench because you don't really need to play him. You've got Marouane Fellaini. But we're getting sidetracked. And Depay is quite possibly, when I was telling you guys to comment down below, the best sign. And this guy is meant to be the next big thing in world football. So he could possibly be the best sign in so far for anyone. But... There is another person coming up who is a very, very big thing in world football as well. Young talent who could potentially rival Depay. But first of all, we need to take a look at Vidal, who Barca have signed. <gasps> Not that Vidal though. Alex or something like that. Some crazy Spanish name Vidal that I don't know how to pronounce. He, of course, plays for Sevilla at the moment. And Barcelona have gone and signed him. And you might be thinking, how have Barcelona gone and signed him? Well, they haven't. Well, well they have but they haven't. In the same way as all of these other players have been signed by the clubs, but they're not allowed to be ratified until the 1st of July. This one isn't allowed to be ratified until the 1st of January, because of course, Barcelona have got that transfer ban. So he's gone from Sevilla to Barca. He's gonna be training with them for the next six months, but he's actually not allowed to play until January, which is crazy. When Barcelona's transfer ban ends the window after this one. So he's gonna be there. He's right midfield, like I said, Danny Alves was potentially meant to be leaving, but I think he's just signed a new deal because this guy can play right back as well. So maybe he's cover because Danny Alves is getting a bit old anyway. This guy isn't quite as old. He's like 24 or 25 or something like that. He got himself a man of the match at right back because that is where he's been playing sometimes this season as well. So he could play right mid, right back, whatever you want to do. And he is just going to be a very good signer for Barcelona, you would think. Moving into centre attack and mid then, we've got Adel Terrapt. Who would have thought that someone had... He can't get into QPR's team. Who would have thought that someone would actually sign this guy? He's got so much talent, but he just doesn't seem to have the attitude or the work rate. He kind of reminds me of Ben Arthur, but... He has gone and signed himself a five-year deal with Benfica, so I'm sure he couldn't sign that fast enough knowing that people are actually going to want to pay him and play him for five more years when he hasn't barely played the game in the last two. So good for Terrapt. Hopefully he's going to be a good player and actually pull his finger out of his arse and just do some good work and play some actual good football. Five-star skills, another one in the Portuguese league to link up with Charisma and Nani, and there's just so many of them. It's absolutely awesome. Tarapt is going over there. He's a very good player on FIFA, and hopefully for him, he can actually start becoming and playing again a very good player in real life. Moving up into the strikers, then we have got that very good young talent I was talking about. It is, of course, Dybala, 20 years old, Absolute blinder, one of the best players in the Serie A this season has just signed for like 20 odd million for Juventus. They are going ham, they are getting some sick signings. Kadira on a free, Dybala, one of the best young talents in the world. This team, Juventus, are going places, man. I didn't expect them to get to the Champions League final, but if they keep this up, they could again rise to be one of the biggest powers in world football, which is absolutely awesome because. If I'm not going to lie, almost as much as I love watching El Clasico, it's getting a little bit boring just having Barcelona, Real Madrid and of course Bayern Munich smashing everyone all of the time. And it would be nice to see Juventus come in and shake things up a little bit. And I'm sure Dybala is definitely going to help them do that. Finally then, to finish off the strikers, we have got Danny Ings. Of course, again, another Liverpool sign. And we had to miss out James Milner, star of the World Cup. 
simply because there would have just been too many Liverpool signings because Brendan Rodgers is off his fucking head. He signed Danny Ings as well though. And of course, he is actually a pretty decent player. He's not too bad at all. He's not too old. He's English, which people seem to love signing English players. I'm not too sure why. I'd much rather sign a better foreign footballer. But they love playing loads of money for English players, even though they're not quite as good as the other players they could have I don't know. It's stupid. English clubs are ridiculous. But anyway, Danny Ings, 22 years old. Pretty good player. Scored more goals than all of Liverpool strikers put together probably last season. So it's not a bad signing at all for them. And he's obviously going to be go on and be a decent player for Liverpool and England. But... That is where we are going to leave this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you would like to see more transfer news, transfer rumours, squads about them, using the new players in their new team squads, anything like that, drop a like on this video and let me know what you'd like to see down in the comment section as well as let me know which one you think is the best signing so far this summer. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe if you're new around here. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.